GTA for the Ops and on Lester Shout out, shout out, Astro, let's do this <laughs> Yo guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the insane skin glow you saw in the intro. So, um, what you're going to need for this is um, your clips. Um, your clip, this is my clip. Um, the song GTA by Roran. And um, you're going to need Sapphire plugins for this. So, um, that's all you're going to need. And you're going to need DaVinci Resolve, um, of course. Um, maybe even 17, I don't know. But... What you want to do first is um, the velocity. So you're gonna go here, right click, read time controls, and open right click, read time curve. And now you're gonna click this little thing, and you want to click unclick read time frame and click read time speed. So make make sure read time speed is clicked, and you can see this little line down here. And now what you want to do is on your kill, once it's already synced up, just Control B, split it, leave it there. And now you're gonna want to drag this part, the back part, up, so it's up a layer. And now, um, pretty much you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 frames to the left, and you're going to add a speed point, and then you're going to want to go, I don't know, like, go on the beat drop and press shift and press left arrow key. That's going, that's one whole second back. So that's a little bit too long, and the, the song, I think there's like a riser that starts right here. So I'm going to start it, like, probably around here, on this marker right here. And it's gonna fade, but I don't like how my character is still kind of running through this, like the wall right here. I'm gonna drag mine back a little further, right around there. So now, um, once I'm here on my little place where I want to start, I'm gonna add a speed point and then oops, go five frames back, obviously. And now I'm gonna drag this little, this big line down all the way to 15%. And now I'm going to drag this other line up all the way to 300. And now I'm gonna have my Play head over the beat drop, and I'm going to drag this little circle all the way over. So, like that. And now, you will see that, that, that it's low FPS. So, we're going to click on the clip, and then come down to retime and scaling, and click um, retime process, make it optical flow, and smoother, and maybe even enhance better if it's bad, but this, that should be good. And that's good velocity for the pre-kill effect. So now we're going to come over to drag that back down and um, drag this out. And now we're going to come over to um, the little the, our kill, open retime controls, and retime curve again. And now click this, retime speed, unclick retime frame, and now go. All right, so now I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 frames. And I'm going to add a speed point, and I'm going to drag this all the way up to 300, and then I'm going to break, drag, drag this all, all the way down to like 33, 34 around there. And that's pretty low FPS, so I'm going to make it optical flow and, flow and smoother. And, and that looks fine. And actually now I'm going to click this little dot, and I'm going to click over here and just make it a curve and drag this line in. And that's some pretty clean velocity. So now we're going to close read time curve. And now this is where you can do two things. Um, so um, you're gonna want to pretty much do this. So you're gonna either want to do uh, where you want it to start. Control B, click, split it. Um, and now you're gonna either want to drag this up by holding Alt and making a copy. And you're gonna want to size this around the character like this. Um, try to make it a pretty good circle. And that circle should probably that circle should stay on your character the whole time, pretty much. When you're finished with it, just right click over here, add alpha help and connect it there. So it's just like that. The next thing you can do is press um, keyframe corrector one. And now you can click this thing and mask your character every single frame, which is really um, long and annoying. And it takes pretty much forever. Um, not gonna lie, you have to mask like 50 frames. But what I'm gonna do for the purpose of this video, just so it looks good, is um, I'm going to rotoscope in After Effects because um, that's super easy. That's what a lot of good editors, um, my friend Press, um, Vision, I know they they all um, they all rotoscope in After Effects because it's just super easy, um, and um, it just it's so much faster than doing it in DaVinci. So most of you will probably just be fine with the circle or just masking it frame by frame, which. So they still look good, they're just a little harder. Or okay, so now I do have my. Um, masked layer here um i put it on top of here so 
Um, once you have that and you add the delta here and everything, um, you just have this on top here. And now what you want to do is pretty much just um, type in s underscore edge colorize and now drag that on. And now what you want to do is pretty much this is where you can choose the color you want. So um, make this first one the background always black, and now make change these all to the one color. So I'm gonna make these um light blue all of them and this will turn the skin light blue and now um if you're on quarter res it might look pretty bad but there it looks pretty good so um pretty much you're gonna want to come here and make the brightness like 1.4 and then come here and go in the color tab and now you're gonna want to come over to this page and make the contrast 1.35 just to make that contrast pretty nice and now um um, you're just going to want to add a glow. So now, once you add a glow, just a regular DaVinci glow for if you have no plugins. And now, um, once you turn quarter res off, it'll look pretty nice. And now, um, to do that, now you're going to want to get S underscore dog vision and now drag that on. And then you can change the color there. And um, you can change the offset darkness or just make it bright, but I'm going to make the saturation really high. And then I'm going to make this light blue like I wanted it. And now pretty much here, you're going to want to do this. So when this starts, the riser is here. I'm going to press keyframe and then I'm going to go a little bit in and I'm going to drag that all the way down to like something like 14 or 15 percent. So it's really dark in the back. And I'm going to drag this. Um, I'm going to go here to where I made this 15% um, right around here and I'm going to drag this thing in so this fades in all the way to there. And it's going to be laggy because that's the Vinci Resolve. But now I'm going to go back to quarter res. And so that looks really cool. That skin glow looks nice. But now what you want to do is um, I'm going to have a preset, um, some presets for um, a pre-shake, a pre-shake, and I'm gonna you just drag that on top and cut it down to whatever size it is, and make this motion scale start at zero. And um, once that you have that pre-shake on, and now you're gonna want to drag in the flicker buildup. So just drag that over, and that fits perfectly, I guess. And it'll just be a flicker buildup, and it'll flicker really hard. And then, um, and now um, the last part, or one of the last parts, is just. Um, having um, impact, so drag in the hard tilt impact onto the kill and go one second later and just make sure this all ends here. and now um, you're going to want to drag in the regular flip flicker, just the one on kill and then you're also going to go to drag on the um, zero saturation on kill and now you're going to want to cut that in half over here and then make that fade all right and so last but not least sound effects so drag on the high quality pump sound effects sound effect from the um, Google Drive. Um, just pretty much just line this up perfectly with the beat drop. Drag in sound seven from there too. And um, you wanna drag on this reverse symbol, symbol, whatever it's called, and line that up with right there. And then it'll sound like this. And the sound seven, sound 7 sound effect is really loud to make this negative 5. If you enjoyed this or this helped you in any way, please consider subscribing. Um, we're so close to 5,000 subscribers. Um, and yeah, peace.